So this review is going to start out a little differently because I want to talk to you about something. And I've mentioned this before. Companies reach out to me frequently offering to sponsor a video or collaborate with me on a review, right? So that means they, they want to pay me to do a review and the payment is always tied to a five-star review. And I have honestly said no every single time. I don't want to collect your money because I want to give an honest review. And that's what I've done. So recently I had a company reach out to me offering to sponsor my channel, right? And I always read the emails because I am interested in sponsorships, but not if I have to give your product a positive review. If I like the product, then I'll plug it. Does that make sense? So when I read through the email, I had some clarifying questions. So I wrote back, let me get this straight. You don't want me to review your product. You just want me to plug it. And they said, yep, we don't want you to review our product. We already know our product is awesome. In fact, we've got 8,000 positive reviews on Amazon. We were named bottle of the year 2017, 2018, 2019, and we probably will be labeled it in 2020. We already know we're good. We just want to see if we can sponsor your channel. So that intrigued me. But also that being said, I want to make sure if I plug something, I want to make sure that I believe in it and I like it. So I went out and bought that bottle and two of its competitors. All right. So the bottles I picked over here, you can see the coldest water bottle. You can see the Hydro Flask and you can see the Yeti. I've actually lined them up according to price. So the coldest water bottle was about $30. The Hydro Flask was about $33 and then the Yeti coming in at $47. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to test these three bottles to see which will keep my drink the coldest the longest. And maybe I'll do like a 24 hour period, which one is going to be the coldest. And then which one will keep my drink the warmest after about maybe a 12 hour period. That's what we're going to look at today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Don't forget to check down the description for my social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's check which one of these three water bottles does the best. And mind you, this video is not sponsored. And yes, I paid for every one of those bottles. All right, so I know this is not an exact science. This one here is 21 ounces. This is 21 ounces and the Yeti is 18 ounces. I'm gonna fill them all up with ice and water. I would love it if you would pause the video and vote down in the comment section below which one is gonna be the coldest. I know my brother-in-law will. He probably has every Yeti known to man, so I know where his vote is going, but where is your vote going? Let's get ready to test this out. So right now my thermostat is reading at 99, which is interesting because the Weather report said it was mid 90s, but it's really hot back here. It's definitely a lot hotter than it typically is. If you're on the um, Celsius, it's 37 Celsius, about 99 Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna fill these up with ice. I have a bucket of ice right here. And then I'm gonna fill them with water, close it off, and then check back in in about 24 hours. All three bottles are full of ice. I tried to get into where the cap would still screw on. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these up with water and then seal them up and we'll see them again tomorrow. Okay, so my idea here was if I fill the water all the way up to the top, it reduces the amount of air that is left in the bottle and ultimately makes the test the fairest possible since they're not the same size bottle. So we'll see if it works out. There they are. All right, I was just shaking these bottles. This one sounds like there's something in it. Maybe there's something in the coldest. Definitely didn't hear anything in the Yeti. Our temperature here, 95 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. I don't know if you can see that. Hate that the Celsius, we're at 35. Let's check out inside the bottles. Oh, I can't even believe it. There's ice in there. Can you see that? That's still in there. That's cool. All right, let's check the hydro flask. There's also ice in the hydro flask. All right, now the Yeti. Sadly, the most expensive one does not have any ice left.
All right, so I'm just getting these in here to get a temperature check. I'm going to have trouble with the Yeti, so I'm going to put a piece of nano tape on it. Maybe that will hold. All right, cool. So I'm gonna take a picture real quick of the temperature because I know there's a glare. What I'm seeing right here on the coldest is 31 degrees Fahrenheit. And it looks like we have the hydro flask at around 34 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the Yeti comes in at, sorry Will, 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So, was your prediction correct? Honestly, I thought they were all going to be the same, or really, really close. But the first round goes to the coldest water bottle, followed by the Hydro Flask, and then way in third place is that Yeti. Let's try this now with a hot beverage. Alright, so I brewed myself some coffee. Let's get a temperature check. All right, so you can see hitting about 147, maybe we'll get 148. If we put that to Celsius, it's about 64, 65. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill up each one of these cups, seal it off, and 12 hours from now, take my first sip. Let's do this. It looks like I brewed the perfect amount. All right, so we're full. Let's put the lids on. We'll see you in the morning. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. It's been exactly 12 hours since I poured that hot coffee into these mugs. I think when I started with the cold water test. I actually started with this bottle, so I'm going to start with the Yeti first. Let's turn our thermometer on. All right, let's see. Our temperature of our coffee. Well, we've gone over 100. That's pretty good so far. It's 100 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to see where it stops. So about 104, almost 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Well, not bad. Now let's try Hydro Flask. About 109 on the Hydro Flask, okay. And now the coldest water bottle. Let's see if it's actually the hottest water bottle. About 113, so there it goes. It wins again. Mm. Hey, I do love my coffee. Now I do like it a little warmer, but who would really live, leave their coffee in for a 12 hour period, not I. So for this test, the cold water test over a 24 hour period and the warm coffee test over a 12 hour period, both goes to the coldest water bottle. It reigns supreme. And the funny thing is, it is the cheapest bottle. That was interesting to me. I should say that all three of these bottles are designed in the United States and they're manufactured in China. And I did a little bit of research and what I could find is it looks as though the bottle tops are interchangeable, right? So this one could fit on the other sizes of the coldest water bottle. Same thing with the Hydro Flask and definitely the Yeti. I did try that Yeti cap on different size Yeti bottles and it fit all of them. So it makes sense to me that the company is doing that. So if you liked this video or any of the bottles here, I'm gonna link them in order of first, second, and third place down in the description. If you're interested, they'll be listed there on Amazon. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day.
I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire insulated water bottle review. That's awesome. Hey, not that long ago, I did a review of this product called Fog Block. And what Fog Block is, it's, it's really a cloth. It's made by the company um, Nerdwax. So it's a cloth that you wipe on your glasses and you put them on and it keeps them from fogging, whether you're wearing a mask or you're going outside from the air conditioning to the humidity. It's a pretty cool product. I'm going to link that right here and I would love it if you would check it out. So go ahead, click this link, and by the magic of the internet, I will join you at this review. See you there.